What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a jailbreak update. So it's kind of been a while since I've done anything about jailbreaking on my channel just because there hasn't really been any new jailbreaks released. But in this video I wanted to kind of talk about uh, some of the stuff that has happened in the jailbreaking world uh, and kind of give you guys an update. Uh, so first off, let's talk about iOS 3.5. A lot of you guys have been sending me Twitter messages and Facebook and YouTube and email and however else you can send me a message uh, asking me if I can post a video to jailbreak 4.3.5. Uh, right now, at the moment, there is only a tethered jailbreak of 4.3.5, which really isn't for me worth posting a video for you guys. Uh, if you don't know what tethered means, that basically means once you jailbreak it, if you want to turn your device off and then back on, you have to plug it up to your computer and do the whole jailbreak process again. It's really annoying, and I don't like posting videos on the tethered jailbreaks, although I do sometimes. Uh, but I just didn't feel like doing it on the 3.5 jailbreak. But here's why. iOS 5 is going to be released very soon. Uh, actually, probably in the next few weeks. We're on beta 7 right now for developers. Uh, and everybody keeps asking me, can I get iOS 5? Uh, no, you can't. It's only available for developers right now, which you have to pay like 100 bucks for if you're on a developer account. That's the reason why 4.3.5 hasn't had an untethered jailbreak, uh, which means you don't have to do any of the rebooting crap. You just jailbreak it and it works. As soon as iOS 5 is jailbroken, I will post a guide on my channel to let you guys know uh, how to jailbreak it and explain everything for you. Also, the iPhone 5 is going to be released soon. Uh, I don't know how long it will be until they get it jailbroken, but uh, hopefully it will be soon. If not, I will let you guys know in the meantime uh, how long I expect it's going to be, what progress has been made, all that cool stuff. Uh, and as soon as the iPhone 5 is jailbroken, of course, I will have an unlock and a jailbreak video uh, on how to do that. So yeah, that's the jailbreak update. Right now, if you're on 4.3.5, there is a tethered version. I will give you guys a link in the description to a blog post where you can see the written guide on how to do it. I'm not going to post a video on my channel just because I don't want a lot of people doing the tethered jailbreak because I don't think it's worth it personally. So if you want that, go check out the link in the description. If you're uh, waiting for iOS 5, which you should, then there you go. Just wait a few weeks and hopefully it should be out soon. A couple weeks ago, 19-year-old Nicholas Allegra announced on Twitter that he is going to be starting an internship at Apple. If you don't know who he is, uh, you guys probably know him as Colmex. He's the one who has found most of the exploits uh, for these jailbreaks. He started jailbreakme.com, which is probably the easiest jailbreak ever to be made. Uh, you don't even need a computer for it. You just go to, your, to it on your Safari browser and basically tap and it starts doing it for you. Uh, he is starting an internship at Apple. Uh, he has answered a few questions uh, that people have asked him. Uh, first, he, they said, how much money have you made from Jailbreak Me? And he said from Jailbreak Me 2.0, he made about $40,000. And from 3.0, he made about $15,000. He doesn't know why there was a decrease. But either way, that's a lot of money. So uh, that's pretty good for him. When asked if he's going to continue to support the jailbreaking community with uh, exploits for the new firmwares, he said no, uh, but he will keep his iPhone jailbroken, so that's good. Either way, I don't think we're going to not have any jailbreaks because he leaves. I'm sure people are going to come back in his place and probably either do better than him or just as good as him uh, because, again, he's made $55,000 plus from this. There's going to be people that want that money uh, that are going to take his place. So how do you guys feel about Colmex leaving the jailbreaking community? Do you think it's going to hurt the jailbreaking community uh, by not getting exploits or is somebody just going to take his place? Uh, and we'll continue on just as we have been. And the last thing I'll talk about is Migrate Fest. If you guys haven't heard about this on Twitter, uh, it's basically a gathering in the UK of all the jailbreaking community. Uh, well, not all of them, but uh, a gathering of jailbreakers. Uh, so everybody got together in the UK. They invited me out. I didn't want to go over to the UK just because I was kind of skeptical uh, of a uh, jailbreak gathering especially when I had to fly all the way to the UK I wasn't gonna fly all the way to all the way there to like find out if it wasn't uh, what I expected it to be which it wasn't uh, basically what they did is they had a few speakers a uh, Sorik Sorik however you say his name the guy who made City I don't know how to pronounce his name I'm sorry uh, and then Poise X Ninja I don't know how to say his name either uh, another uh, iPhone hacker uh, they both did speaks and talks or whatever at the event uh, and there was a, actually a good amount of people that came out. It actually surprised me how many people came out to it. Uh, it wasn't too many, but as you can see in the pictures, there's a pretty good number. From what I read on sites, the event wasn't uh, what it was cracked up to be, and it didn't turn out all that good. And they weren't ha they were having like sound issues, and they were way late, like an hour and a half late. Uh, it's pretty much what I expected it to be. But I have heard some rumors that the next one may be in New York. So if that happens, I will definitely I try to make it out to the one in New York. I'm sure a lot more people would come to the one in New York than there would it be in the UK. I just I don't know, maybe not, but that's just the way I feel. So again, it was unorganized, and it cost like 27 euro a ticket, which I don't know 
know how much that is in American dollars, but uh, that seems like a lot uh, to spend on a iDevice gathering, which was sponsored by uh, companies already. So it should have been free, in my opinion, since it's just a gathering. They shouldn't have been charging people to meet up. Anyways, that's just my thoughts. I just want to let you guys know about that. Oh, and also a fun little thing. At the end of the event, or near the end of the event, uh, one of the team members from my great fest had their iPhone stolen. So that kind of sucks. Either way, if they have one in New York, I will definitely uh, try to get my part and, and make it out to it. I think that'll be fun. Would you guys be interested in doing a meetup in New York of all the jailbreaking community? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to post this quick little update video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you want to have some more jailbreak update news kind of things like this? Uh, if nothing's happening or just to keep you guys updated on what's happening with the jailbreaks and in the community and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about this. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button up there uh, to be notified on the YouTube homepage when I post a new video. And lately, that hasn't been working. The YouTube subscription thing has not been working at all. Uh, so if you guys haven't been getting my videos, make sure you go check out my channel. I've posted some new videos recently that are really good, uh, in my opinion at least. Uh, so go check those out. Make sure you don't miss them. I would really appreciate it because I put work into them and it sucks when people don't see your videos. Also, in case the YouTube subscriptions don't work again, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, or Google+. Plus. I'll have the links to those in the description and I post all my videos on there uh, so you make sure you don't miss any. So that's it. If you enjoyed this, click the like button below. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out a lot and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!